temperatures rested in the mid-50s outside the McCann Recreational Center last Tuesday evening, but a crowd of over 5,000 Marist students and Poughkeepsie residents prepared to feel the burn. Democratic presidential nominee Bernie Sanders' unexpected stop to the Hudson Valley was greeted by an enthusiastic crowd, all with opinions and hopes about what they would hear from the Sanders campaign on this day. The one that's got the best interests of our country and his plans and all that. So. More money and researches towards the fight against Alzheimer's. It's a big thing. Uh, there's a lot of both candidates are very similar on. Both have a lot of good things going for them. But uh, Bernie could really uh, win me over with that today. The entire election right now, it's very like it's become very complicated. And because we're of age and because we have the ability and the like, we can vote now. It's upon us to take the responsibility to really learn about the candidates, and that's what I'm trying to do. We're going to make a difference. I mean. You don't see the rest of them rallying like we rally, yeah. you know, spreading love, not hatred. Most apparent in the masses that gathered for Sanders was the diversity through the people who were waiting. Some of the crowd skewed elderly. He tells the truth. Um, he doesn't try to sugarcoat things or just say what he thinks people yeah. want to hear. Well, some skewed in the other direction. I don't know, just nature likes him. The bird likes him. Of course. Oh, also I like his smile. You like his smile? Yeah. He does have a and very nice huge. smile. Those fortunate enough to get inside the packed arena, including Marist President Dennis Murray, listened to speeches from Deputy Mayor of New Rochelle Jared Rice, activist Josh Fox, a performance of the national anthem by Marist's own Kelly Peaks. <laughs> Over an hour later, former frontman of R.E.M. Michael Stipes gave Sanders his introduction. Sanders took some time to talk about Hudson Valley icon Franklin Roosevelt and his visit to the FDR Museum. I'm always happy to be there because in my view, FDR was one of the great presidents. The rest of his speech spanned topics from education to social rights with one or two slight jabs at Republican candidate Donald Trump. American people understand that we are a great nation because of our diversity. Because we come together as one people regardless of our race or religion or country. Sanders' speech lasted just an hour, but he left on a poignant note and a plea for action during Tuesday's New York primary, a race in which he trails by 10 points to Hillary Clinton. Uh, this campaign is that when there is a large voter turnout, we win. When there's a low voter turnout, we lose. Next Tuesday, let us see the largest voter turnout. For Marist College Television, Andrew Roger. Poughkeepsie, New York.